Hey guys, my name is Ryan John Keats and welcome to the video. So this video is a ZBrush speed sculpting demonstration in which I create a posed minotaur initially starting from a sphere. By following this video you can pick up some strategies and techniques for both speed sculpting and for blending anatomical forms so that you can create your own mythical creatures as well. I should point out that within the video I only use standard ZBrush practices and brushes with the exception of the Orbs Cracks brush, which can be free to download um, online and it's pretty easy to find. Uh, there are no other secret alphas or anything else like that. Although this video is not specifically a tutorial, I have added both a time-lapse version of the sculpting as well as a real-time uh, sculpting videos so that you are able to isolate any specific areas you want to re-watch and address. The original unedited videos add up to about seven and a half hours altogether and the time last ones are eight, eight times faster. When I was learning, I always found that you tend to watch an hour of a video just to get 30 seconds of you know nuggets of information. So I thought it was valuable not to, ha to have a version that was not sped up so that you can always go back to that and find the specific button clicks and so on that give you the exact information that you want. So the final models are also included in this file and you can use them however you wish. Um, I'd love it if you could tell me if you are using it. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, that would just be fun for me. Just be aware that there is no mouth cavity, no rig, just the raw sculpts that you have seen in the video. There are also no render tutorials or videos. Um, the, the rendering in the splash images were done in Marmoset Toolbag, but I don't really cover them in the, um, in the videos, just the, the sculpting process. So this video begins with the sculpting from a single sphere and then it goes through uh, quite a few different stages. My personal sculpting strategy is essentially the opposite of a marble sculptor. I like to make the figure as quickly as, and as roughly as possible and then simply just fix it as I go. So by practicing speed sculpting, you can begin to make faster decisions which will, in my opinion, lead to better work since you have more spare time to address any other areas that might not be ideal in your work. Initially, in this video, I sculpt a realistic bullhead and a realistic bodybuilder physique. After merging the two, I pay attention to the overall silhouette and focus on blending the anatomy to make it seem more natural, exaggerating f some forms and just the overall shapes. I continue by sculpting a human hand and then make it more monster-like in the same process I do for the head and the body. Uh, eventually, I get to a complete uh, detail pass to finish the model. And lastly, I create two quick poses to present the final asset. They're a little clunky, um, but they, they can show you how you generally uh, can pose in, in ZBrush to, to just get a little bit more oomph out of your character. I should point out that I use as much reference images as possible when sculpting. If you don't use reference images, you kind of end up copying yourself from memory, which is good if you're trying to develop a unique style that's, you know, truly your own, but not really if you're trying to learn. So for this project, I got several pictures of bulls and bodybuilders. As a minimum, I like to get a front-facing image, a direct side-facing image, and also a three-quarter image. I've done my best to sculpt quickly and concisely so that the videos are feasible to be watched in real time. Uh, although some of the finer parts of the anatomy are not as refined as they could be, but if I was really going to refine that, it really would take you know days or so to get that just right. For my anatomy, I like to practice the use of constructive reference and naturalistic reference. This means firstly addressing what you know and then what you see. In this model, that would be uh, by using anatomy charts to know where the muscles are and how they're shaped, and then by using photo and scan reference on top of that to address all the natural features that, that can obscure the underlying found foundation. 
If you only rely on naturalism such as photos, you don't have enough of an understanding of the figure and it can seem a little structuralist and blobby. However, if you only practice construction, the model can appear like a soulless anatomy chart that doesn't feel quite real. So this is by no means a perfect work, but I do like to work fast so that I can make mistakes quickly and take my time to fix and refine in the future. I really hope you enjoy this video and learn a thing or two. And uh, please leave a comment on my art station or YouTube if you have any questions or suggestions of any other videos I should make. And I will do my best to get back to you concisely. Um, thank you for getting the video and um, I really hope you enjoy it.